Are you a creative professional, a casual user, or somewhere in between? Choosing the perfect Mac can be a daunting task. Today, we're diving deep into Apple's powerhouse lineup, the MacBook Pro M1 Max, the Mac Studio M1 Max, and the compact Mac Mini M2. We'll break down the differences in performance, design, and price to help you decide which one is the perfect fit for your needs. Stick around until the end for our verdict on the clear winner of this epic showdown. Let's get started. Apple's MacBook Pro M1 Max is a technological marvel that redefines what a laptop can achieve. It's a sleek, powerful machine designed for demanding tasks, and it delivers in spades. However, while it's a dream for professionals, its gaming potential is still evolving. The MacBook Pro M1 Max is a testament to Apple's engineering prowess. Its solid aluminum chassis exudes durability and premium quality. The display is a visual masterpiece, boasting vibrant colors, deep blacks, and a refresh rate that makes everything feel incredibly smooth. Whether you're editing 4K video, composing music, or simply browsing the web, the M1 Max chip handles it all with effortless speed and efficiency. One of the foremost noteworthy perspectives of this laptop is its battery life. It easily lasts a full workday and often well into the evening, even under heavy load. This is a significant improvement over previous generations and a testament to the efficiency of Apple's silicon. While the MacBook Pro M1 Max offers impressive gaming performance for certain titles, it's not yet a dedicated gaming machine. Games like Resident Evil Village run beautifully, showcasing the power of the M1 Max chip and Apple's Metal FX upscaling technology. However, the overall game library for macOS is still relatively limited compared to PC. Many popular PC games are simply not available on macOS, and even those that are may not be optimized for the M1 chip. Another challenge is the lack of widespread developer support for Apple Silicon. While things are improving, there's still a gap in terms of game optimization and availability. This means that while you can play some games on the MacBook Pro M1 Max, the experience may not be as seamless or as performant as on a dedicated gaming PC. The MacBook Pro M1 Max is an ideal choice for professionals who demand the utmost in performance and portability. Video editors, photographers, musicians, and software developers will appreciate the speed, efficiency, and long battery life. It's also a great option for students and general users who want a high-end laptop that can handle anything they throw at it. Apple's Mac Studio is a sleek, powerful desktop that feels like a precision tool designed for creatives. It's a departure from the playful Mac Mini, opting for a more serious industrial look that hints at the raw power within. The heart of the Mac Studio is the M1 Max chip, a beast of a processor that handles demanding tasks with effortless grace. From video editing to 3D rendering, this machine is a dream come true for professionals. But while it's undeniably fast, the question is, is it that much faster than the M1 Max MacBook Pro? The Mac Studio is a piece of industrial art. Its aluminum unibody construction is both sturdy and stylish. The compact frame calculate gives a false representation of the crude control pressed interior. A generous array of ports, including Thunderbolt 4, USB-A, HDMI, and an SD card reader make it a hub for all your peripherals. However, the lack of user upgradable components is a significant drawback. Once you purchase it, you're stuck with the configuration you choose. This is a stark contrast to the flexibility offered by many PC desktops. The M1 Max chip in the Mac Studio is a powerhouse. It effortlessly handles tasks that would bring other computers to their knees. Video editors, photographers, and musicians will be blown away by its speed and responsiveness. However, when compared to the M1 Max MacBook Pro, the performance difference isn't as dramatic as one might expect. This raises the question of whether the desktop form factor is truly necessary for everyone. Four, macOS is a joy to use. It's intuitive, visually appealing, and optimized for the hardware. Apple's suite of creative apps like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro are top notch, and they run like a dream on the Mac Studio. However, the lack of compatibility with many Windows-based applications remains a limitation. The Apple Studio display is a stunning companion for the Mac Studio. Its high-resolution display, impressive speakers, and excellent webcam make it a dream for content creators. While it's expensive, it's a worthwhile investment for those who demand the best. 
The Mac Studio is a fantastic machine for professionals who need the ultimate in performance and a compact desktop footprint. However, its high price point and limited upgrade options make it a niche product. If you're already deeply invested in the Apple ecosystem and need a powerful desktop, the Mac Studio is a compelling choice. But if you're open to other platforms or prioritize value, there might be more affordable options out there. Ultimately, the Mac Studio is a testament to Apple's engineering prowess, but it's a product that caters to a specific audience with deep pockets. Apple's Mac Mini M2 is a compact desktop that packs a surprising punch. It's a sleek, understated machine that belies its impressive capabilities. With its powerful M2 chip and the option to upgrade to the even more potent M2 Pro, this little computer can handle everything from casual browsing to demanding professional tasks. The Mac Mini M2 is a looker. Its moderate plan fits consistently into any workspace. Don't be fooled by its small size though. It's packed with ports, including Thunderbolt 4 for speedy data transfers and connecting external displays. While it's not designed to be opened up and upgraded by users, the range of configurations available means you can tailor it to your exact needs. Under the hood, the M2 chip delivers a significant performance boost over its predecessor. Everyday tasks feel snappy, and even demanding applications like video editing and photo manipulation are handled with ease. For those who need even more power, the M2 Pro option is a game changer. It transforms the Mac Mini into a capable gaming machine, capable of running modern titles at respectable frame rates. While it's not a dedicated gaming rig, the Mac Mini M2 with an M2 Pro chip can hold its own. Games like Counter-Strike, Global Offensive run smoothly, and even more demanding titles like Metro Exodus are playable at decent settings. Of course, if you're a hardcore gamer, you might want to look at a dedicated gaming PC. The Mac Mini M2 is a versatile machine that caters to a wide range of users. Whether you're a student, a creative professional, or someone who simply wants a fast and reliable computer, this little desktop has a lot to offer. It's not the cheapest option out there, but the combination of performance, design, and ease of use makes it a compelling choice. If you're looking for a desktop that doesn't sacrifice power for size, the Mac Mini M2 is definitely worth considering. Let's cut to the chase. If portability is your top priority, the MacBook Pro M1 Max is your go-to. Its stunning display, powerful performance, and long battery life make it a fantastic choice for creators on the move. For those who need a dedicated desktop powerhouse with unrivaled performance and expandability, the Mac Studio M1 Max is the clear winner. It's a beast of a machine that can handle the most demanding tasks. And finally, if you're looking for a compact, affordable, yet capable machine for everyday tasks, the Mac Mini M2 is an excellent option. It's perfect for students, casual users, and even light content creators. Eventually, the leading choice depends on your particular needs and budget. We trust this video has made a difference. You make an educated choice.